All right, guys, look at this. Here we are under these clapboards and this trim board. All right, hey guys, Randy with Maine Wildlife Management. So uh, a lot of times when we're bidding a job, uh, we're trying to get bats out of a home. Uh, previously, we showed you the holes over there where there was a, the bat netting, um, the previous bat control company, or maybe it was the homeowner, the previous owners before these folks got this home. Um, didn't seal anything up uh, and sure enough we're gonna look right over here and you get these this is super common you get these clapboards and then people just throw trim right over the top of it and what you get is these little gaps under here and all we have here is hanging in the cobwebs bat droppings everywhere all right so the bats are going up inside here you can see smudge marks everything chirping around and droppings are all through there there's tons of gap look there's a whole big accumulation of them right in there all right. So, they may or may not have access from here uh, into the home. They shouldn't. There should be solid sheathing, and then you have your clapboards go on there, and then solid trim work. Um, but we can't 100% guarantee that there wasn't some um, gap in the sheathing or some oddball spot that the bats are enjoying. Um, most likely, they're just stopping here and hanging out because this is the southern exposure, um, and it's a beautiful spot for them to hang out. Essentially, the house is one gigantic bat house. Um, the only problem with that is the longer they're here, the longer the likelihood or potential of them actually finding a way into the home is. So we don't want the house to be a gigantic bat house because also we're going to have an accumulation of droppings. Oh, here we go. Droppings along the ground, and they're going to be hanging around the deck constantly in the lounge area, and eventually working their way in the chimney. You would get like these gaps here where the um, the flashing has bowed up. Um, again, that shouldn't go to an open space inside. Um, however, if we can't verify it, we want to eliminate it completely so there's reducing any potential whatsoever. Um, that's the proper way to do a bat exclusion job is seal up anything that may be even a potential unless you can 100% identify that it's not an issue. Um, it's usually to do the job right the first time and then you're not having to call somebody else to come back out and do the job correctly like we are today fine here for flying squirrels and find all kinds of bat work so anyway if you've got clapboards with trim going over your clapboards they need to be sealed up uh, we've got tons of bats up by that gable vent all those clapboards are just full of bat droppings all the way down through the eaves full of bat droppings um, they're just a beautiful beautiful spot for bats to hang out so that's it for now, guys. Make sure you hit the subscribe, subscribe button and stay tuned for more updates. Thanks a lot.